So when Jesus was being tested on the mountain, right, the devil said, I offer all of these kingdoms to you if you would but worship me or something like that. And Jesus said, no, thou shalt only know the Lord thy God or whatever. And that means that the devil runs the world. The Grox talks about this. This means that the devil is, is part of the huge deception that's going on. And um, in the book of Revelation, it says there will be ten kings, which are the ten horns, and power, power will be given to them unto the dragon, the serpent. The devil gives the ten kings their power, okay? So that's another part of the Bible that's all about conspiracy theory and just proof that the government is not a part of your spiritual well-being. Just like Jesus said, let Caesar's laws be unto Caesar and God's laws unto God. That's showing a distinction, a, a huge distinction between government and God. And that's why America was founded from freedom of religious oppression, because the Vatican, the Catholic Church, just, America wanted to get away from all that and just have, you know, something not about profit and corporation and giving us money. Um... And I mean, Satan, um, or Shoel, some Jews like to call it, he's in the Old Testament. I mean, he's in the book of Job, or Job. He's in 1 Chronicles 21, uh, verse 1. And he's in the book of Psalms 109, verse 6. I mean, that's, Satan is throughout uh, the Old Testament. So it's not just a Christian idea, okay? I mean, it didn't really talk about the burnings of hell and stuff, though. Um, I don't even remember Jesus really talking about burning in hell. It was all the saints who interpreted him afterwards. Jesus went to hell. Um, to he, he went to the dark place and all the evil spirits. Um, but, you know, it's not that specific, actually. Um, and the whole uh, Doug Dynasty thing, you know, with Phil Robertson, First Amendment, he was asked a question on GQ. He said his opinion and A&E fired him. It's not totally 100% about the First Amendment. It's not only about that. I mean, A&E can portray whatever image they want, but don't expect him to say, well, I'm not allowed to answer that because Phil Robertson will speak his mind if he's asked a question. He didn't know it would repercussion him that bad. Or wait, maybe this is all just a fiasco to distract us from the NDAA 2014 being signed, of which will probably involve more internet censorship. So, <laughs> Let's see how long I'm here, you know, till, you know, who knows what they're going to do. Um, I mean, once again, Jesus never said anything about homosexuals in the Bible himself. He never said anything. In fact, he said, I, I want to summarize the Ten Commandments. They all pretty much mean love thy neighbor as thyself and the Lord thy God. That's pretty much all it meant. I, Jesus tried to get rid of all the specific laws and just say, and, you know, in heaven everything is plain. Everything is plain in the eye of heaven. Everyone's like, well, should I do two ounces of apple or three ounces of goodness or five ounces of evil? Like, you can't quantify morality. Everything is plain in heaven. You know if you did something right, you know you did something wrong. And if you know you did something wrong, you can acknowledge that you did something wrong, which will in turn make it right. Jesus tried to get rid of all that laws and just saying, just have faith in me because I know you're only human and you will break laws, but if you... But if you try and know that life's a gift and you're not supposed to be bound down with that stuff, then you have a much better life. I've actually had a, if I hadn't discovered the Groxed, honestly, I'd have been much more of an angry person. The beginning of this year, I was pissed off and ridiculous. I had discovered the Groxed already, but I didn't understand it. I understand it now. It's all for a reason.